Hi, today in this tutorial, we're going to cover object cloning in Java. So, by the end of this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an object by using the clone method of object class. And you are also going to get the answer for the question that I asked you a few tutorials before that in which way of object creation the constructor does not get called. So, let's get started. So guys, as you know, in this series of tutorial, we're covering five different ways to create an object in Java. And in that perspective, it's gonna be the way number four, where we're gonna create an object by using the clone method of object class. So let's see it in a brief. All right, guys, so let's understand object cloning in the easiest way possible. Let's say my name is Avilash and I'm a human object. So I have uh, my hairs, my eyes and my face, which is different than other humans. For example, my hair color is black, my eyes color is black, and my face is in a round shape. So let's say if I control C on me and control B it over here, then you'll see a different object who is, which is looking very similar to me. But the thing is, he is having a different reference. For example, my reference is Avilash and his reference is maybe something different, maybe Avishek. So we, we both look same and we both having same properties, but the different is we are different. We are not unique, but the only unique thing in between us is our properties, which is same. So what we understand from here is that copying out one human properties to a other human is called human cloning. But the thing is, I'm a different human and he's a different human. I'm having a different address and different name and he's having a different address and a different name. So you are different, isn't it? All right, so now let's talk about programmatically. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now, let's take a class called Avilas, which is my name. So I'm taking a class, uh, let's say over here, uh, Avilash, and this Avilash will have few properties like hairs, like face, and like eyes, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to create an object of this Avilash class. So uh, to, how to do that? So we can do that like Avilash ob one which is my reference, then equal to new Avilash, isn't it? So now ob one is my object reference and using that I can set uh, the properties for my Avilash class. So I can set the properties like uh, ob one dot uh, hair is equal to black, ob one dot face equal to round, and ob one dot uh, eyes equal to black. So now everything is set up. Now what I want is I want to create an another object and I want to copy all this content of obi1 object to an another object called obi2. So how to do that? So for doing that I can write obi1.clone right now it's going to create a separate different object uh, for me and it is going to have all the properties of obi1 all right. So, obi2 have all the content that I have in obi1. Just like this obi2 will have a hair color, which is black. obi2 have will have a face type, which is round. And also, obi2 have the eyes color, which is black. So, what we understand from here is that we just copied our all the obi1 properties, all the obi1 content to a, another object, which is obi2. And it is going to have the exact same properties, the exact same content. And the only thing which is different is going to be the object reference because this is a different object and this is a different object, isn't it? So what we understand from here is that copying out the content of one object to an another object is called object cloning, all right? So this is two different objects having the same content or the same properties, but having two different references, two different addresses, all right? So let's see how it works in detail. So let's switch to Eclipse. Use that. All right, so before I go ahead and implement my cloning inside this application, let me do some basic stuff again over here. So let me write my sysout and uh, let me have some stars inside it. And let me quickly comment the basic stuff for me. Okay, so let's go ahead. All right, so to clone a object, first I need an object so that I can clone that to a, another object. So as you know, cloning means 
copying out everything from an object to a separate object. So the first thing that I need here is an object. So I'm going to use the previous object that I have created by using the constructor new instance. I have created a student object that is S3 and I'm going to clone this S3 object to get a, another similar object. Okay. All right. So let me go down and let me start writing core. Okay. So here I'm going to have some white space and I'm going to use the S3 object. So let me write S3 dot clone. Well, I'm not getting that in my intelligence and this is giving me an error. Can you guess the reason behind it? Well, that means the S3 object, which is a student class object does not allow us to clone it. And the reason behind it is so simple because if you want to clone something, the first thing you need to do is your class should implement the clonable interface. And the rule number two is your class should override the protected clone method inside it. So let's do that thing first. Okay. So let me, let me go to my student class over here and let me, let me say the student class implements the clonable interface, which is right over here. And now again, I want to override a method, which is clone method. So let me override it. And there we go. I don't want to do anything over here. So it's returning the super class clone method, which is object class clone method, which will take the responsibility to clone your object. So I'm going to just save this file and I'm going to go to demo class and Right now, we actually can use the clone method. As you can see right now, it's not giving me an error. It's just giving me an exception and it's asking me to handle an exception, okay, which is clone not supported exception. So again, let me click on the first option over here and let me have a line break so that we can see it properly. Uh, well, where is it? Okay, there we go. So let me have a break here and there we go. Okay, clone not supported exception. So I have handled it right now. So let me go down over here. Now, as you can see, the clone method is working fine. Now I can store this clone method inside a student object. So I'll write student and I'll write S4 and I'll write equals. So this clone method is giving you a object and you are storing it within a student object. So you need to type cast it to student. Okay. So let me write student over here quickly and there we go. So we're all set and we got the S4 object. Okay. So, uh, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to quickly print it to the console so that, uh, so that we can check it out that our object is created or not. So I'll write sys out over here and I'll write S4. Okay. So let me save it. And guys, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to print out sys out S4 dot call is id and let's see what's coming in the console okay so let me run it well there we go so the first thing is to notice is that the student class constructor is not get called here so the constructor is not get called right that's why we're not getting the student class constructor like we used to have uh, in the previous three approach but but whenever we are using clone, our constructor is not getting called. The first thing that you need to remember. The second thing is that you can see over here, the object is a completely different object. You can check it out. You can check out its object address is different. And from this object, we have cloned the things. So this object is different and this object is different. Okay. You can check out the hash core of it. Okay. I mean the hexadecimal value of it. Okay. It's absolutely different. And the next thing is that why we're getting 600 because we are cloning this object from this object. So clone mean we're going to get the exact copy of that. So we're getting the content of S3 object, which is six, which is 600. So if I want to change it, I can change it over here like this S4 uh, dot college ID and I can set it to somewhere 500. Okay. And now if I'll save it and if I'll run it again, now check this out. Our, our value is get changed to 500, right? So this is how you can clone an object 
to create a new object without using a new 